Yeah. All right, Julian, one year ago, Dana White Contender Series, and here you are, and now you're going to be, you know, you're part of the regular stable, and you're tackling the media. Any difference for you? No, it's not. This is how life should have been. Um, the way you look at it, if you guys look, we're coming up on Dana White Contender Series, episode number four, right? Week number four. Which one did I fight on last time? Episode number four, week number four. This is all planned out. Um, this is, uh, I guess, God's plan towards me. Um, I've been blessed throughout this whole trip. Do you like, I was going to say, are you a guy that looks into symbols and signs a lot? I mean, it sounds like that's something that you, you kind of pay attention to signs and things around you. Yeah, um, I definitely look for things. Uh, you know, in my life, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of things that give me answers. Um, there's questions that you, you don't really have um, the answer to. So sometimes the answer is given to you in a, just a weird, different way. And I, I've always seen it like that. Um, faith has really helped me out a lot in, in my career, in my life, in my schooling. And everything's been working out pretty well. There's been a wave of middleweight fights, including the champ, last month, or actually earlier this month. And then, of course, in the next coming weeks, there's a lot of middleweight action going on. Um, do you like being on that timeline? Do you ever look to purposely fight when the contenders are fighting just so that you're part of that, you know, not getting overlapped? Uh, now that fighters only fight two times a year, it seems like. No, I think it's, it's awesome because the thing is is that I think the middleweight division is actually one of the most powerful divisions we have there. It's just it's getting overshined because – everyone there's a lot more weight classes being pointed out now that we have the middleweight division and there's a lot more fighters coming here making statements on the Dana White contender series in the UFC it's starting to bring a lot of more hype towards our division and it's actually turning a lot more heads I'm curious like when you brutally finish these opponents like it's so exciting I also noticed that you, you kneel down and wait for them to get up where does that come from did somebody teach you that or like uh, where, where's that come from well, um, that comes from just being me. Um, 100% at the end of the day, like, this is, uh, this is a, a business. This is a fight game. This is what we do. But at the same time, I don't want to cause pain towards another person. And I just took something from them. So I kneel down or I sit down and I pay my respects because for 15 minutes on the mic, uh, I can give them that so they can walk out and be, you know, get their thoughts together because – I'm going to live the rest of my life with that victory, um, as well as they with that, that loss. So I don't want to be disrespectful. I don't want to be rude. Um, everybody comes out here and bashes people and bashes their name. And it's, what's the purpose? You know, th this person's a fighter. This person's a human being. Um, if they didn't have fighting, you know, they'd still be a, a regular, normal person. There's nothing that changes it. So. Are you the kind of guy that watches tape on an opponent, breaks that opponent down, and, and if so or if not, break your opponent down for us. Tell him where, where, he's, where he's dangerous. Oh, I don't, I don't look at any tape. Um, I may have watched it one time, but I have coaches in my corner that that's what they love to do. I watch tape on everyone else, um, on fights that happen, um, fights that are happening in the Dana White Contender Series. I, I look and research on other fighters' different styles, but when it comes to my opponent, um, I don't really care. Because at the end of the day, you know, everybody has a plan until you get punched in the face, and that's the most accurate statement. If you all looked at my last fight and Darren Stewart, you know, we had a game plan, but I said, forget about it. Why not? Um, this one, it's the same thing. I'm going to go in there and find out where he doesn't want to be, and he's going to show that within the first 30 seconds. So when you're watching this tape, it's more to just see what styles are happening, what people are doing in mixed martial arts just to kind of see what people are out there doing? Yeah, um, to watch tape, I love fighting. Uh, this is my life. This is who I am. This is where I want to be. And with that being said, watching film is part of my job. Watching fighters, seeing what they do, um, seeing, like you said, their style, but also seeing, you know, heart. I want to see what someone does with that when they're down one and one and they're in the third period and they need something big. What's going to drive out of them? That's what I think is a true fighter is when they pull that out. And so that's what I look to see in fights. And I'll rewatch the same fight over and over if you see that fight. Just like Whitaker and Yoel, probably the best example. That's 100% heart. So I'll rewatch that fight over and over, not because of trying to find different angles or weaknesses. I'm doing it because that is an amazing fight. To me, that got me lifted and I was excited. So 
that's where I look at fights, just to find that, that competitive aspect. I may be way ahead of you here, but do you ever look to be the first fighter coming out of Dana White Contender Series to win a title? Much like Forrest and Rashad and some of those guys, you know, they're, that, they're those trivia answers to the trivia questions of like, who came out of tough and became a world champ? Um, no, that would be amazing. Um, if you actually walk up the stairs over here, it says, contenders become champions, become legends. And that's speaking to me as I walk up the stairs every day to do my practice. So, yeah, that's my goal is to be the number one out of Dana White Tuesday Night Contender Series. It's how I began. It's how I was created. And I'm going to bring that with me, and we're going to take it to the top. With a good victory here, do you anticipate breaking into the rankings, or is that something that you just hope just take care of itself and just focus on the fight? I'm focused on the fight. I, I can't think about the future because right now it's Alessio. That's who I'm fighting right now, and that's all I care about. I don't care about the rankings. It's just a number. You know, you could put 23 beside my name. What does that mean to you? All right. Thank you. 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 Thanks. Thanks.